What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to talk to you about cross validation rules. Create some security on the value set so that if you want to show the users just a specific set of values, say cost centers, and you want to block out the other cost centers, this is going to do it. All right, let's get after it. Let's go over to setup and maintenance. We'll go and make sure we're in the setup financials and then we're going to general ledger and then we're going to find all the way down here, cross validation spreadsheet. It'll download. Let's go locate it. We're going to right click it. Okay, properties and unblock. Say okay, let's open her up. All right, let's log in. All right, we're logged in. Now, recommended if this is your first go is to read this whole instructions. Lots of details, lots of examples, but it's all right there. But this isn't all that uh, difficult. But if you have a, an opportunity, be sure to uh, check that out. So let's go over to the cross-validation rules. Now I have a spreadsheet that's already has one ready. It's like the cake out of the oven situation. Let's copy that. Minimize that. Let's paste it. We always paste formulas to make it right. So the first thing to do is choose the chart of accounts that it belongs to. It's this one. And then we'll give it a name, a description, name in the description. And the error message should be as any other error message to tell them what's going on. And you can see there's a drop down for the condition filter segment. And then you can see this is free form. So you got to know what you're doing. Again, another drop down for the, for the segments. And again, free form. In this particular case, I don't want any balance sheets that have anything other than four zero. We're going to do submit and that's going to load it up to the applications. You can just validate that it's okay. Close that. Minimize that. Minimize that. Now let's go over to manage cross validation rules. Let's open them up. Now we're in the rules and we'll search for the chart of accounts and here's my rule. And notice right here, the details and then over here, the message uploaded just like that, just like that. And now what we're going to do is going to go over to here, actions, validate, and we'll enter in one that causes it to fail. Notice I have a cost center in there that's greater than four zeros. So it tells you the message. All right, let's go upstairs now and correct it. Let's put it back to all zeros, all zeros. And then we'll validate again and boom, pass, all good. Just make sure you're doing your journal entries with all four zeros for balance sheet accounts. That's gonna do it, folks. It's super easy. Clearly, you can just load that spreadsheet up with all the different variations of cross-validation rules and you're off to the races. So that's gonna do it for this one, folks. If you found the information useful, why not consider using the subscribe button like a bookmark so you can have easy access to the information without having to search for it when you need it. I really hope you enjoyed your visit today and I will catch you in the next one.